Hi guys, this is Serge from Textbox, and today I'm going to show you a plugin which will save your life when you're setting tickets with assigned seating by the events calendar. So they have a nice extension which allows you to not only sell the tickets on your website, but also assign seated tickets so that each uh, ticket board has its own seat assigned, which is basically a must in this industry. Problem with that plugin, I mean, it's not truly the problem. Your rules are always labeled by letters starting from A and down, and your seat numbers going from left to right with the seat number one going to whatever the biggest number is in the row. The thing is that in real life, your uh, venue plans do not correspond to that exactly. So you have the option, either you kind of relabel your seats in the venue so that they correspond to the seats on the website, or label the tickets by the seat and attach whatever uh, parameters we need to each seat individually or in bulk. So that people, when they buy tickets, they select uh, seats visually and when they receive tickets on the ticket they get the exact row number and uh, seat number corresponding to what is on your layout. So here we organize an event in Alicante, Kinepolis. That's a movie theater. The screen is down here and on my selling page I have created the layout where the screen is at the top. And as you see, my first row is named A, second is B, and my numbers go from 1 to uh, 17 on, on the first row and to 18 on the second row, and on the last until to 21. I have two categories in this layout, uh, PMR, a wheelchair spaces here, those three seats and then the standard seating here but on my plan my numbers go so that would correspond to a1 which i have row one seat number 14 until eight then i have three pmr seats and then i have seven to one so how do you handle that on the website in our plugin, under Sitting Labels, I have created the uh, custom mapping for the seat names and I added my roles exactly as they are on uh, events tickets uh, layout. So starting from A to K. So I have my roles from A to K here and now I'm going to add the seats. So I would take this first chunk from A1 to A7 and assign them the true numbers which are 14 to 8. Here's how it's done. I just click add seats. I'm adding seats for the row A starting from the seat number 1 until seat number I think 7. Yes. Okay, so 7 then I can give a custom name for my role, which will be role number one. And then I select how the seats should be attributed in this bulk editing tool. So that would be a sequence descending. And the starting number would be 14 for my case. I just click add seats. Now I have my seven first seats. So the first one's gonna be row one, number 14, and the last one is gonna be row one, number 18. Here we go. Then I need to add three wheelchair spaces. And this is how it's done. I just keep adding numbers. So I'm starting from A8 to A10 and to the 10 
my row is still number one, but instead of sequence number, I'm gonna give it a custom text and I'm gonna call it EMR and then so instead of assigning numbers, I will assign custom text to those seats. Okay, so now those are exactly the same. And now I'm gonna give them custom numbers. And then what I have left is this. So it's rule number one, seat number seven. And I need to, to go down to seat number one. And on my website layout, it corresponds to A11 to A17. So let's keep adding seats. I start from 11, go to 17. When a rule number is number one. And then here, I would select the sequence descending and it would descend starting from number seven. Okay, so that seat would be number seven here. And the last one would be number one. Here you go. So now I'm ready to sell. People will select seats visually only planned they will be presented the seat code and then when they will receive a ticket with a QR code for scanning on the ticket it will be written the row number one and seat number four. So this plugin will be soon available on textbox.store to get your 50% discount for the launch of the plugin, just join our mailing list and you will receive a notification when it is ready for preview and public release.